Hi friends, today we are going to build a process, simplify a particular purchase order screen using SAP screen personas. So how we are going to do it? First, I'll go to SICF, okay, and call the personas. And here I go to SICF, and here I'll just select uh, personas, I just type in, okay, uh, and then I will execute. The moment I execute, here I have personas and here I will just select the service. Okay. Now this has this is appearing. If you see, uh, the screen will open and since I already logged in, it, it shows uh, I didn't have to give the user ID password, otherwise you have to give the user ID password. Now you see this P that's a SAP screen personas. You click on it and this is purchase order, and we will try to make this a simple screen. So how we can build it. So first thing is we click on create new flavors and here we'll just give a name. Um, so I'll just give you entry and test video uh, simplify. Okay, so this is the name. I will go and I'll click create. Okay, and here once this shows up, we are going to build it in a simple way. So let's see, supply changes and all those things. So the first thing that we are going to do is if you notice, there are so many tabs, it's so confusing. So what we can do, we are going to do here, we can see there is the status tab. If you notice, we click on it. And in persona, you have to be a little patient because it's the web thing. So it will be a little bit so manipulative. Okay, so connecting if you click. So I'm showing here it's its status if you notice. Now first I will try to make this a little better. So if you notice there is lots of gaps and all those things because I want to put more stuff here. So what I can do I'll just move this order to here. I don't want so much space here coming so I'll just push it here. So I'll just make it this aligned properly and still to deliver here and I'll put the invoice here now this is the portion of the amount let's push the amount a little bit here i think the invoice moved a little bit here i just want to make sure it's aligned properly um soothing to the eyes also right so now here you can see the unit of measure and what i can do is rather than doing all i can do control i click all this one by one and rather than pushing it out one by one select one so i'm holding the control key and i'm doing this okay now i am going to push this here so now rather than doing it one by one now it's better okay so now you have this thing now so this is what i did now you might say why you want to do this okay now what i'm going to do is here if you notice i'm going to the other i want to merge the order data in this place uh, just because it's confusing uh, because everyone wants to use Simplify. I don't like clicks. The more the, the more you click, the more chances are of making mistakes, and the more clicks is more work. Okay. So so let's go here. I'm now going to bring back everything here. So you notice purchase org. I'll select this. 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 Everything I'll select by one. And again, it's lots of uh, lots of time. The the your internet speed matters. So here, what I'm going to do, I'll push this out here. Okay. So here you can see now this is completely here. And what you what I'm going to do, I click on the arc data here, and I'll click on height. Okay. Now I'm going to go to status. Let's go to the status tab. And 
that show and i can uh, click on it now it shows up now what we try to push all these things so i'll do control same thing one two three four so you have nine and we will try to push it here you know and again based on the business you know we might want it to, to move it here or there so here you have moved now it's not just this let's see what we got rid now let's see what we can get rid of how do i can get rid of the input okay. so let me go here the input on portion and whenever whatever i'm getting rid of i'm also putting you know uh, i'm hiding that tab okay so if you notice now i double click on info terms and here these are the two fields okay so and these are the header field and lots of times you know uh, based on your configuration in the in the project you're working info terms may be in the header as well as the line whatever it's there so let's see so click on this um yeah finally clicked and control one thing i know i came to know about personas you need to have a little bit of patience so here i just moved it here now so now this is completely blank i will hit hide now i will go to uh, status which is my place and where i'm going to put the input terms and the input terms location so i will click on it and here it is now i'll do the same i'll copy control 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 and probably i'll put it here it's more like the you know you remember you used to when you were in the old days you used to play those hand hand games games video game type of thing no it was not video it was video but and you had the big screens it's like this so now if you notice i did the input terms let me do something delivery invoice okay let's see whether we can get some uh, ch uh, get some details in the delivery invoice well we have a lot of fields and if we can bring it back into the status field that would be good so let's go it's the same thing i'll double click on the payment terms and again patience is the key so i go click on control key i select all this again it's up to you on in which order you and I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did, you can put all these things, make sure you do, and again, you might have different fields based on your, you know, field status that you have defined in your configuration, and lots of times you can rename all these things, it's up to you, what you want, what you want. okay, so here, percentages that's it good so now i'll just drag it out now uh, this was my delivery thing and this one i click on it and i'll hide it now i go to again status okay status and now it will show me all the things that i have moved into this tab just okay that's good now what we are going to do is we are going to select this one by one uh, yeah this is a little painful but you know you can clicking clicking so you click once Here and I slowly move it here 